Welcome. This is going to be a short video on how to find and classify the stationary points of a polynomial function. We first need to define what we mean by a stationary point. A stationary point is any point on a curve where the gradient of the curve equals zero. On the curve that I've drawn on this screen, there's, there's three types of stationary point. There's a maximum, a minimum, and a point of inflection. This point here is an example of a maximum, because essentially the curve is coming up, reaching a gradient of zero at the top, and then heading back down the other side. On the bottom right hand side, we've got an example of a minimum, and that's where the curve is coming down, levelling off with a gradient of zero, and then going back up. And then finally, and probably the most interesting, over here we've got an example of a point of inflection, which is where the curve comes up, levels off with a gradient of zero, and then continues up. So three types of stationary point. To recap, we've got the maximum, it's where the curve comes up, stops, levels off, then continues going back down. A minimum, where the curve comes down, stops, and goes back up. And the point of inflection, that's where a curve rises, levels off with a gradient of zero, and then continues back up. So maximum, minimum, and point of inflection. So, to find and classify the stationary points of a curve, we're going to go through a six-step process. The very first thing that we're going to do is calculate dy by dx. We're then going to solve the equation dy by dx equals zero, because stationary points occur when a curve's got a gradient of zero. Then we actually need to know the coordinate of the stationary point, now we've found its x value in step 2, but to find its y value we're going to need to substitute x back into the original function. We're then going to calculate what's called the second derivative, or d2y by dx squared. And that's actually going to allow us to classify the stationary point. In step 5, once we've calculated d2y by dx squared, if d2y by dx squared is greater than 0, that means the stationary points are minimum, or d2y by dx squared might be less than 0, which will mean it's a maximum. And then to finish the problem off, step 6, we're going to state the coordinate and the nature of the stationary point. OK, so here's our first example. We're going to find and classify the stationary points of the curve y equals x squared minus 6x plus 1. So our first step is we have to find dy by dx. So instead of writing dy by dx, I'm going to use y dash, but it means the same thing. So in this case, y dash, differentiating the curve, we get 2x minus 6. Step 2, we have to solve dy by dx equals 0. So I'm just going to solve the equation 2x minus 6 equals 0, and then that's fairly straightforward. x equals 3 is the solution to that. So that means a stationary point occurs at the point x equals 3. We now need to find the y value of that stationary point. So I'm going to substitute x equals 3 back into the original equation that we're working with. And that was y equals x squared minus 6x plus 1. So if I substitute in, y is going to be equal to 3 squared um, minus 6 times 3 plus 1. Now that's um, 9 minus 18 plus 1. Now 9 minus 18 is minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8. So that means 
we now know that co the coordinate of the stationary point occurs at 3, comma, minus 8. What our job to do now is to find d2y by dx squared. So I'm just going to write it down. So it's a d2y dx squared as y double dash. And all I'm going to do here is differentiate this function. So what happens when I do that? Well, when I differentiate 2x minus 6, I get 2. Now, in terms of classifying the stationary point, I'm interested in whether d2y by dx squared is equal or bigger than 0. So I can say d2y by dx squared, what we've done above, that's equals to 2, that's greater than 0. So the implication of that is because d2y by dx squared equals 2, which is bigger than 0, is that that point's a minimum. So min. And then the final thing we're going to do when solving these problems is we're going to state our answer formally at the end. So at the end I'm going to say three dots. Therefore, a minimum occurs at the point three comma minus 8. And there I've gone through the six steps to find and classify the stationary points of the curve y equals x squared minus 6x plus 1. A second example, I'm going to find and classify the stationary points of the curve y equals minus x squared minus 8x plus 2. So as before, our first step is we find dy by dx, so in this case y dash is minus 2x minus 8. And our next step in terms of finding the stationary point is we have to set that equal to 0 and solve minus 2x minus 8 equals 0, which is a relatively straightforward equation to solve. I can just take the 8 over I can write that as minus 2x equals 8, and then x in this case will equal minus 4. So I know the x value of the stationary point is x equals minus 4, but here I'm now going to need to find the corresponding y value. So I need to substitute back in to the original equation, so I'm going to substitute back in to there. Now I need to be careful here with my minus signs, it's going to be y equals minus minus 4 squared minus 8 times minus 4 and then add 2, so that gives me minus 16 and then minus 8 times minus 4 is plus 32 and then add 2 so minus 16 plus 32 is 16 plus 2 is 18 so now I know this stationary point occurs at the point minus 4 comma 18 which is fine I now, though, need to classify. So I find um, d2y by dx squared, which is y double dash. And as before, I need to differentiate that part. It's going to be relatively straightforward. So when I differentiate um, minus 2x minus 8, I get minus 2. And now I'm interested in whether d2y by dx squared is equal or bigger than 0. So I know d2y by dx squared equals minus 2, which is less than 0. And that means that this point is a maximum. 
and then what do I do at the end? Well, I just need to formally summarise it, and I need to say, therefore, three dots, a maximum, a maximum occurs, and that occurs at the point minus four, comma, eighteen. So now having done two fairly full worked examples, I'd like you to have a go at doing one yourself. So the questions would be, find and classify the stationary points of the curve y equals x squared plus 10x minus 3. And your job is to find a the coordinate of the stationary point and then use d2y by dx squared to find out whether it's a maximum or a minimum. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Any further questions or queries, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much.